So I don't want to move much because if you fall, you die. <laughs> We're just a family that wants to fill their lives with extraordinary stories. Over the past few years, we've hiked over 3,000 miles doing the Appalachian Trail, John Muir Trail, and many other trails throughout the United States. This year, we're going international to the Himalayas, where we're gonna be hiking up to Mount Everest Base Camp. This trip, we plan on not using a porter and we'll carry all of our own gear, but we get the luxury of hiking from village to village, where we'll stay in tea houses. They're cozy little hotels with restaurants and of course, the Himalayan culture. With over 100 base camp treks, Bouldry will be our trusted guide and companion as we try to overcome weather, steep terrain, and the potential of altitude sickness. We'll be sharing our amazing experiences, family-friendly tips, and all the incredible sights along the way. So, come with us to Mount Everest. We have about a three-hour trip to DC, and then we're flying to Nepal. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Traveling to new places is one of my favorite things, and so getting to share this with Harvey has just like constantly been on my mind. So I can't wait to share this experience with him and just get it started. So we finally made it to Nepal. What do you think, Harvey? You tired? Yeah. We're trying to get our visas. First, we had to go over those kiosks, <laughs> or you can go over to one of those counters over there. Now, the whole point of that is so they can get your picture and do all the visa paperwork, but then you have to get in this crazy long line to pay for your visa. Now we're gonna exchange your money, then go through visas and get our baggage. When we got off and went through customs and immigration and everything, we met with our past guide, Bouldry. And so he hopped us into a car and took us to our hotel, which is so nice here. We were exhausted. And so basically we got here at 11 in the morning and just crawled into bed and took a three hour nap. Okay, we're down in the lobby, checking it out. And guess who we get to hang out with today? This is Baldry's son, Pernoy. So one of the perks about having our old guide with us, since he knew us and knew we were bringing our son, he decided to bring his son out for the day. And that way we were able to spend the whole day visiting all these historic and spiritual sites in Nepal. Um, but Harvey wasn't too bored. How old are you? Nine. Oh, you're nine. Harvey, you ready to hang out with him? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> so we're here at Durban Square and there's a lot of construction still going on from the earthquake that happened last time me and Cassie were here. We beat the earthquake by like six months. Crazy that even eight years later, they're still doing so much construction. Thank you so much, Baldry, for bringing your son. It was really special for Harvey to enjoy having a kid. Most of our adventures, we don't get to have many kids around, so that was really special. Tonight we are having a traditional Nepalese dinner. This is dalbat. So you have a whole bunch of different themes, and then you mix it together. And you, so we have chicken dalbat tonight. What I love about this meal is it's basically rice and whatever you have in the kitchen. They just kind of throw it together, and I love just mixing all my food together. It's fantastic. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. What are we about to do? We're about to go to a Himalaya Mountains. I woke up feeling so we made it to the, the domestic world. Kathmandu airport. Like nothing's ever gonna bring me down. This feeling got me flying high as a bird. I may never touch the ground. It was amazing because I could see like all the buttons and how they slide the plane. That runway is so short. Oh my god. Oh my god. We landed. Right now we're having some tea, well we're having coffee and Harvey's going to have a little bit of breakfast and then we're going to walk basically till lunchtime and then be done for the night. Yeah, how far do we got to go? Four miles. Only four miles on our first day? Yep. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. <laughs> Are you ready dear? Oh we must be sure. There's no turning back once we're out the door. Harvey, you just started the Mount Everest base camp. What do you think? Cool. What was your favorite thing you saw on our trek this morning? Doggy. They're actually puppies, not dogs. They're puppies.
So we have to get permits, so we're filling out all of our paperwork to be able to get into the national park right now. We're almost there! Look, our tails is at the trees! What do you think of this bridge? Is it bouncy? Yes! Scary too! It's scary? Alright, let's walk! We got the teal water below us! Whoa, it's bouncy! I need to get off of it! You want to get off of it? Yes! Alright, let's walk! That's what we're doing! Yeah, we are! What do you think, Harvey? It was amazing. It was so fun. It was so little of mine. So, Harvey, what do you want to do on your rest? Lunch. Lunch, okay. I think the chicken momo must be like the Nepali, like, um, what is it called? Chicken, chicken fingers? Nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Because <laughs> Harvey loves it, and he learned it from Baldry's son that also loved chicken momos. We're building a castle. Good morning. Last night we slept so good, and this morning we're having coffee and porridge. We actually have the entire hotel to ourselves. So this is actually the restaurant. Let me take you on a tour. So we got lucky. We finished breakfast and the rain stopped, yes, right? Yes, now we stopped the rain. <laughs> We're starting. Yeah, now we get to head up the mountain. We're going to Namchi Bazaar. And so I think we have 14 kilometers, um, around eight miles or so. We have like up and down hills and then straight up, they say at the end. So we'll see how, how tough it is today. Cool. This trail that we've been walking on is so wide. It's been really nice for us because Harvey loves to talk, of course. And so we all can line up next to each other and chit chat and play games all together. We have made it to lunch. We actually got here in about two hours. We are going pretty fast for what we kind of expected. And I think here in the next couple days, the altitude will probably kick our butt. But right now, we are feeling really good. Where's your mama? Where's your mama, guys? Oh, there she is. So this is Hillary Bridge. It's the tallest bridge we're gonna cross. We're crossing the top one today. What do you think, Harvey? Are you gonna be brave? Yeah, I'm gonna cross it, but I'm still very, very, mega, very <laughs> Don't worry, we'll watch out for you. What do you think? Yeah. What? Look how high we are. Right where the real battle happens, you gotta climb about three miles of stairs, roughly 4,000 feet up. So this is the most up in a single section. So the next three miles are gonna be very difficult. But I'm glad I don't have a big pack like these porters up here. They have a very large pack. We're about 20 minutes from our tea house and we gotta climb, oh God, a million stairs. But we're getting it, right Harvey? Yes, it's spring going right now. Oh. Turn as fast as I can to go. Oh man, Harvey's way ahead of me now. What? Oh Harvey, really very soon. <laughs> I'm really impressed with Harvey. Uh, man, he did amazing going up that 4,000 feet with altitude. We're at about 11,000 feet here. Yeah, I didn't know how he would do, but it looks like he's doing pretty good. So I'm pretty impressed. We're finally here. All right, we made it to Nazi Bazaar. The time room has a dragon. I want to show you our room. We are on the top floor. Come with me. We have a gorgeous view oh my gosh, it's of amazing. all of Namchi Bazaar. Look how amazing that is. And then our bedroom. Wow, look at those windows. Harvey's relaxing all Harvey, you relaxing? Yeah. And then we have a bathroom too. What? A private bathroom? Hot shower. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Let's relax! We came for tea time, right? Yeah. And we have cookies. Yeah. And I ordered lemon ginger. Cassie orders lemon ginger. Harvey, what did you order? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And look what they got them. 
so fancy. <laughs> you ready to go to bed? Yes. It's raining out there. Yes. Thunder? Yes. Thunder and lightning. <laughs> Good morning. We're ready for our acclimation day. We're just getting up. It's almost 6 o'clock in the morning. Harvey's playing a game on his cell phone in his sleeping bag, nice and warm. It's probably 40 degrees here, so it's not too cold. We're gonna climb about a thousand feet to see uh, the Mount Everest Museum. Uh, the road's here, really, Steve. Um, but that's okay. That's what you need to do to acclimate, right, Harvey? Yes. This is Tengzing Norgay. He was the first Sherpa to climb to the top of Mount Everest with Hillary. So this is really cool, Harry. This is a rock from the top of Mount Everest, or Mount Everest, and this is a rock from the Dead Sea in Israel. So one of the lowest points in the world and one of the highest points in the world. And there he goes. <laughs> He's acclimatizing. <laughs> We're going exploring. We gotta check out the town. And it's mine for dogs. We're on our dog hunt. We found a cow. Bye. The weather looked like it got a little bit better for now. So we can climb even higher. So we want to make sure we acclimate good. So climb high, sleep low. And we're kind of bored, right, Harvey? Yes. So where do we go this morning? You point at it? Over there on the top of that hill. So now we're gonna go up to the Mount Everest Hotel, which is uh, way up there somewhere past that and we're gonna maybe have some hot tea or coffee or something like that And then we can head back to the hotel and relax and that way we don't sit around all day being bored <laughs> All right, we made it to the Mount Everest view hotel and they have a trekkers viewpoint Looks like they have a little restaurant in here, too. Maybe we can get some tea so, uh, some days when it's clear, you can see Mount Everest from here, but you can't right now. Yeah, we were really hoping to get a good view, but yep. I don't think the clouds are going to break. What do you think? No, hopefully another day. So we're two days into the Himalayas, and we found a pool hall. Harvey's trying to learn his skills. Don't you like the towns? So different to America. Such an awesome view, right? Can't help blow if it's an awesome view. Good morning. Today is uh, the day that we're leaving the Bazaar and we're gonna head up to some higher altitudes. When I wake up in the morning, drinking coffee. We are headed over to Tengboshe today. It is a monastery, one of the highest in the world, like altitude high. And it snowed last night in the top of the mountain, so you can kind of see them. This one looks really cool. And I found a million snow balls at Baldry. <laughs> at Baldry! See that place down there at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have lunch there. We're gonna go all the way up to the top with that big zigzaggy uh, trail, and then we're gonna stay at the top of that thing tomorrow. Got it? Well, Harvey, tell us what type of bathrooms they have in Nepal. Squatty potty. It's like a hole, a hole in a house. Just a hole in the floor? Yeah. And you have to poop in it? Yeah. What do you think of that? Do you like that? No. <laughs> Finally made it to lunch, right dad? Oh yeah, lunch time. Definitely peppermint tea. Okay, so lunch is over. Now we're in the forest, heading up the steep, steep climb, Harvey. I'm sure I'm tired. Yeah, it's very steep. And we got about two or three miles of straight up. So we just made it to the top. 
which was a crazy long try climb. It just kept going forever, but now we're getting close to the monastery. protecting the monster. We're not allowed to take pictures inside. So um, this is the outside. There's some really cool stupas and everything. <laughs> so we just came out of the monastery and there was a huge Buddha in there. It's probably like two stories tall. And that's where all the monks gathered to do their ceremonies. All the walls were like hand painted, drawn of different stories and Buddhism. So. It was really beautiful. Now we're gonna go down the mountain a little bit because it's foggy up here. On to Dibuche, and there we're gonna have our night. Speed walk! So Harvey, if we climb up there, we're done for the day. You ready, Cassie? Oh yeah. Oh, where's he there going? He there he goes. We're finally at higher altitude where every night after five o'clock, while we're waiting for dinner, they light the wood stove. Isn't it nice and warm and toasty? Okay, it's the morning at day five. We did a pretty good job sleeping last night. Did you sleep good? I did. Harvey, did you sleep good? Yes, but I'm freezing right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to eat your egg sandwich. Today we are in Deboche, and then we are going to walk to Dingboche. We might be lucky. Oh, 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 look above us. I know. <laughs> After walking in the rain yesterday and all these clouds this morning, I think we're gonna might have a good day. Hopefully. All right, let's hike. Too much blue sky now. So we're at another cool swinging bridge and Harvey's practicing doing it all by himself. Dude, you're looking good. <laughs> kind of funny. So our guide had booked a porter to come with us just in case he needed help to carry Harvey because he knew they were bringing a seven-year-old. So now we have a porter carrying none of our stuff, just hanging out and doing the trek with us, <laughs> all paid for, which I don't mind supporting the local economy. I think that's pretty cool. And Harvey's really proved them wrong. The whole time they keep, um, he keeps saying, wow, wow, Harvey's so good. And Harvey's really crushing it. Frankly, he's doing better than all of us. He keeps running up the mountains. Um, and these short days help. I mean, we're used to these long 15 mile days. So now we're only doing six, eight miles a day. Like I know it's high altitude, but. <laughs> that mountain right there in the clouds? Yeah. That's Lhotse. Yeah, and Mount wonderful. Everest is right behind her. One of the fifth biggest mountains. It's the fifth biggest mountain. Fifth? Fifth. Hey, what are you thinking about this cool river? There'll be a fun and scary Water slide. <laughs> we just found a Himalayan beach. There's something insanely cold about that water. Look how spread my skin is. I think it's glacier water. It's definitely glacier water, kid. <laughs> All right, we just made it to our hotel. Hurry. What do you think? Yeah, we got a wood stove so we can stay warm. That'd be nice tonight. It's like a treehouse. We have all the windows. Oh, I guess this is our room, Cassie. Nice. Wow, we get a Me full and bed. Can sleep together and Harvey can yeah, sleep. that's nice. <laughs> it's yeah. our own toilet. Yeah. Wow. So I think since it's the off season and there's not many people here, uh, Boultry's been able to find us um, all the nicest hotels and all the little towns. You guys wash your hands? Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's time. Good morning, everybody. Harvey, what are you having for breakfast? Toast and eggs. How's everyone feeling today, Cassie? We're doing pretty good. I have a slight headache. Um, so if I move too fast, then it gets worse. So we're just gonna take it slow today. What do you think, Harvey? How's your head feeling this morning? 
good. Yesterday when I was like running, it happened, but now it's all gone. We didn't even know it, but they're doing the Mount Everest Base Camp Marathon today. But apparently there's 300 runners that start at Mount Everest Base Camp, and they run all the way down to Namchi Bazaar. So it probably will take them six or seven hours to complete the whole thing. But today we're gonna stay here uh, one more night, but we're gonna do an acclimation hike. We're gonna hike up about 2,000 feet. So we should be close to almost 17,000 feet. All right, we're coming up our acclimation trail. We see one of the runners running through town. Would you do a marathon at this high altitude, Harvey? Nope. I think I would. What about you? Uh, maybe if I was acclimatized. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> we decided we want to get video of the marathon runners, right Harvey? Yeah. So I'm going to head down back to the village, try to get some videos, and I'm going to try to run up this high altitude mountain to meet you guys. All right, they're about to start the, this is a half marathon starting point I actually found. Can I ask you your name and where you're from? Oh, you live in the UK, from Nepal. Iceland. Okay. France. India. The Netherlands. Argentina. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to run down the mountain and catch up with those guys. So now I get to run all the way back up this mountain and hopefully catch up with the family. Running up a hill at 5,000, I mean, sorry, 15,000 feet almost, it sucks. Well, I made it back up to this ridge here and I see my family. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. I see them in front of me. And there's Harvey, Cassie, and the Porter. So I caught back up with the family. This is your new record. You're about almost a thousand feet higher than Mount Whitney. How do you feel? <laughs> well that's what he thinks about that. So we're about 16,000 feet now. What are you guys gonna do? Go back down. We're gonna head back down. We're starting to feel the altitude a little bit more, but I think Josh is gonna head back on up a little bit further. But you guys did really good, Harvey. 16,000 foot. You proud of yourself? Yes. Now, uh, Chidon is gonna hike with me to the top. So done with the grassy section. Now we're on all these rocks that are really steep. So basically we're just scrambling up these rocks. Look at this view around me, guys. Woo! Problem is, we got cliffs on both sides of me, so I don't want to move much because if you fall, you die. <laughs> very, very high up here. Going down is really fun. <laughs> I get to enjoy the views a lot more now that I'm going downhill. Harvey! I, I made it! Thought, I thought you were like up there, but you were like... I know, I was running down, I was running, I was running. Guess what, Harvey? What? We saw a mountain goat up on the cliffs. But guess what? Follow me. <laughs> Mom, we saw a mountain goat. That's pretty awesome. Look over here. What am, what am, we found a stray dog on the mountain, and he came down with us, and we named him Brownie. Oh, hi, Brownie. Good morning. So now we're off to the next place. Where are we going today, Cassie? What's the plan? Today we are heading to Le Boucher from Dingboche. Yeah, so I think today we have about five miles, um, but we are going to go close to 5,000 meters. So um, the altitude is going to definitely start to play games with us. But so far, Harvey seems to do okay, right, Harvey? Yeah. All the clouds cleared away. And those mountains look pretty cool. I know. Do you like the Himalayas? Yeah. Are they better than the Virginia mountains? Yeah. We're here. You're going to sleep in that tonight. No, I'm just going to get it. Whoa. There's a little bench in there. Yeah. This place would keep you warm if you got stuck in a, in a snowstorm out here, Harvey, in this valley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we just rounded the corner here, and now we get to see a hard climb for the day. If you look, there's a 
little town there and a little trail that goes up. Cassie remembers it as the hardest climb last yeah. time we were here. And the altitude's starting to get high, so I think today's been pretty relaxed, uh, just rolling hills. That hill yesterday really got to Cassie a little bit. I actually took some of her weight. She'll be fine. Um, so far, Harvey seems like he's doing an excellent job, so I think he's good as well. We're here having a quick morning tea time break. We're about to go climb way up there. Can you show me where we had our tea time? At those houses. What? All the way down there? Yeah. <laughs> Harvey, what did you do? was the easiest part of the day. No, it wasn't. Well, you did it. You made it to the top, Cassie? Yeah, it's a lot easier this time around. All right, tell us where we're at. This is a memorial for um, all the fallen hikers that have died on the mountain. Harvey, what's coming, what's coming? Horses! Horses, are they racing? Hotel Mother Earth. We're enjoying our lunch here. I feel super strong, like no problem. How do you feel, Harvey? Yes. Better than last time. <laughs> well, you weren't, you weren't even here. You were really hot last time. <laughs> After lunch, we decided that we're gonna hike up to, I guess, another steep hill to, to keep us busy this afternoon, so we're not just sitting around. What are you doing? Rock climbing. You're climbing rocks? Yeah. <laughs> it is base camp day! How you feel, Harvey? Great, but look at my back. A little bit cold tonight, day, Harvey? Yeah, Harvey that's, Cassie? that's why we can see our back. Cassie, what's the whole schedule? So we go to Gorshep, which is only like two and a half miles, and then we're gonna go on to base camp and celebrate there, and then come back, rest a little bit, and then we're gonna go up to a side mountain called Kalapatar, and then that should have good views of Everest. Howdy. Or a wolf. Chasing the birds. It's kind of like we're in the middle of nowhere, like another planet. Yeah. Where are the trees? We're above the tree line. We went beyond the tree line? <laughs> Plug for a new documentary coming out. <laughs> It's so hard to hike up that mountain with altitude. It's like a million times harder than a million times harder. Yeah, we have to walk like snails, right? Yes, way slower than snails. The altitude is so crazy. Your mind just plays tricks on you. You're like, I feel so strong, but then at the same time, I can't breathe. <laughs> so you can see the glacier, um, it's all stone and rock on top, and it's all ice yeah. underneath. And then if we follow the glacier over here, Harvey, then you can see where it's white, yeah. and over there is base camp. Mount Everest is that little peak right there with Whoa. the smoke coming up. Really? Yeah. I, I think it's the snow melting and then turning into a cloud. This is the highest restaurant we'll stay in. Highest? The highest. We're going to base camp, we're going to base camp. There's magic coursing throughout my veins. So we got a five mile uh, round trip to go to base camp and back to Gorshet. It's a little surreal today because this is where all of our family adventures began. In 2015, when Josh and I came here to Mount Everest Base Camp, it kind of sparked this fire in our heart to seek out more extraordinary stories for our life. And so we set our sights on hiking all 2,000 miles of the Appalachian Trail with our son in 2021. 
and then that following year decided to hike all 200 miles in the Sierra Mountains on the John Muir Trail. And so Nepal kind of sparked this lifestyle that we now live and love. We're finally going to base camp. <laughs> we, yeah. What was that base camp? Right over there. Oh my gosh, yeah, I can see it. It's all that black all the way up there is where they put the tents. And they just took the tents down. We've been passing porters all day, haven't we, Harvey? Yeah. Taking all the stuff back. Do you think you can make it there? Yeah, it goes down right there. After eight years, we finally made it back to base camp where it all started. I definitely feel like the luckiest guy in the world to have such a wonderful wife and awesome son to do these adventures with me. Hurry, Cassie. What? what do you see in front of us? Base camp! Yes. You see it? Are you going to be able to go touch it? Yeah. Let's go touch it. We made it to Mount Everest Base Camp! Yeah, I'm gonna touch it, Dad! I'm gonna touch it! Here it goes! Boom! Yeah. Did we make it? Yes! I did it! I can't believe I can see the top of the world! But I can't wait to tell my friend about my trip to Mount Everest. Woo! throughout my veins. I don't want it to stop. I feel invincible in every way. grab our stuff and head on back to Gorshep. So much for bringing us to Mount Everest Space Camp. Was it hard to go up that last hill? The altitude's getting to you, isn't it? Well, let's get lower back down to camp, okay? I think I feel good. What my head hurts a little bit. Yeah. It's my definitely... forehead. Yeah, your forehead. Not my whole entire head. But we're almost back. Our place is right up there that we're staying at. Harvey, was it worth it? Are you glad you went to base camp? Yeah. So, uh, Cassie and Harvey are rest. Uh, they're not gonna take the extra little hike that we're gonna do up, uh, what is it, Caliporto? Caliporto. We keep hearing these huge avalanches. There's Zumba Ice Falls, and then it goes all the way up, and that really far one right there, Mount Everest. Man, what a view from here. You can actually see it really nice. That was definitely a lot harder climb than I thought it was going to be. But we, we made it! Well, we got a few pictures from up here. Um, but now, as you can see, the clouds have come in and we are kind of lost Everest. All right, so we're just leaving to start to go down. Uh, so far we woke up, everybody wasn't feeling too good. <laughs> and Harvey had a little bit of a belly ache, didn't you? Yeah. We all had all different sorts of, you know, altitude symptoms. We all had bad headaches, but Harvey, stomach actually hurt and he actually puked a little bit which wasn't a good sign and he was very just didn't have much energy now that we're down a couple thousand feet low he's feeling fantastic aren't you harvey yeah he's all talkative he's all good altitude's better down here isn't it buddy yes pizza yeah since we came low harvey's allowed to have cheese yep tonight's first night that's exciting well, eat it up, bud. Do you feel much better now? Yeah. Are you excited that we came down so low? Yeah. No. Tastes like the pizza at home. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, good morning. Today is day two of us uh, heading down the mountain. We're going to do another like eight or ten miles or something down the Namchi. So we're going down a lot faster. How does everyone feel? Good. So much better. Yeah, we didn't film much yesterday because we all had bad headaches, but man. Having a good night's sleep at a lower altitude, it made a big difference, didn't it, Harvey? Yeah. Oh man, you feel so much better. Yeah. Look at you, hiking along with no problem. Mom's hiking along, no headaches. Life is good. So we have an angry act that keeps turning around trying to charge us. 
They have a big rope on it. Um, and they can't get it to cooperate. And now it pulled the guy down. Yeah, it with did. The rope. You think it'll turn on and attack us again? No. Alright, let's go. I don't know. The dangerous Jack is blocking the bridge. They're trying to get him to cross the bridge. Oh, oh not down, not down. <laughs> Lots of problems, huh? Yeah. We're back in Nacho Bazaar. Where's our hotel? And guess what? Our we have the same hotel room as last time we were in Nacho Bazaar. <laughs> 8848 Round Star Hotel. And there's rooms on the balcony. We have another room on the balcony. And it was the same exact room. Whoa. Bye, number two. Bye. We're back at Hillary's Bridge. Harvey, remember the last time you were here? Yeah. You cried a little bit because you were yeah. so scared of heights. Are you going to be scared this time? I don't know, but I think no. <laughs> You're not scared this time? No. That's good, dude. You guys are so brave. Okay, we're back at the airport. Harvey, you excited? Yeah, I can't wait to go back to Canton. Dude. <laughs> All right, let's get on the plane. Badri brought his children out for a farewell dinner, uh, which is exciting. So we're all having chicken momos together, and you guys get to hang out with the uh, crazy Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, bye! bye.